Yeah, I think it's um, it's like it's like anything. Every team wants to score, you know, four or five tries um, every game. Everybody wants to go out and express themselves, and, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think where we currently are, we firmly believe the way we're going is is the right way. Um, you know, it's it's you know we we probably could have scored two or three extra tries against Wales with 14 men with the, the opportunities that we created. Um, against France as well, um, so it's making sure at this level that the players understand you have to nail what you what you create. And um, you know we've obviously been pretty disappointed in terms of of um, the finishing, but ultimately um, the players have got to get that right for this weekend. And have you had to sort of go back to basics? What you got to play? Strip back what you're trying to do, attack, or just to make, or maybe even simplify it. No, not at all. I just think we, we 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 carry on doing what we're doing. You know, it, it's like I've always said. It's it's a decision based game. Rugby is about decisions you make, and you know we we're happy with what we're creating. It's then the final pass or or the final decision or putting ourselves in the right parts of the pitch that that can create pressure on the opposition. I don't think we did that well enough against against France. Um, so these are all things that the players will. We'll have to make sure they get right for the weekend. Thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. Who is that? <laughs> Paul was from First Media. How Hello, Paul. Do you, think, do you think the criticism aimed at Aaron's attack play has been justified and fair? Um, yeah, if you're not scoring tries, everybody's got room to criticise, haven't they? So... Um, you know how many did France score against us? But in the, in the same breath, um, yeah. Listen, when you when you're playing against a Wales side with with 14 men, you you, you know, look back to the Six Nations, the, the Nations Cup and stuff. We've we've scored some some good tries. We've scored some very exciting tries. The players have done exceptionally well. Um, you know, cir circumstances haven't let us do that this this campaign at the moment. So that's why the focus is this weekend, making sure that we can we can get a foothold of the game and. And go and do what we're good at. And, and is there, Mike, is there confidence amongst the staff that the attack play will improve going forward to the championship? Yeah, it goes game by game, doesn't it? You know, it's um, you know, you can't control the weather when it comes down, and if it's raining and everything, and we don't score tries, you get criticised for that as well. So, um, you know, you, you, there, there's so many factors that come into it too. Um, but for us, we believe that we're going in the right direction. Um, and, you know, with, with all the players available now, um, injury-free, we believe that uh, we can pick a team that can really take a game to Italy. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Hi, Mike. Um, just wondering in terms of attack and specifically against the French game, how far away from what you had envisioned or what you had planned in advance did it play out in front of you? Um, was there a huge gap in what... Um, yeah, bits, well, bits of it. Um, the thing is, you're playing against one of the best defensive sides in the world currently. So you're not just going to go and score a try every single time. They're smart defenders, um, good work rate. Um, they, they, they're well organized. So I think that the big thing for me is the decision making, not necessarily just in attack. It's, it's across the board. And, you know, we miss opportunities to, to really put the pressure on France in terms of playing in the right parts of the pitch as well. So it's not just about the the the, the attack. It's, it's it's making sure that we can change the momentum of the game. And again, there were opportunities where we had in the game to do that, and we didn't. So these are the things that we need to be a lot better at. Can you tell us what the latest is on COVID uh, testing in the camp? Because obviously there's news, more than news this morning from France, that they have more um, cases. When's the last time Ireland were tested, and what's the latest results that you have? Well, we all got tested three times last week. Um, we've had a test this morning. So, um, again, we are COVID-free as we currently stand. So, um, I think we, we're very happy with the way things have been going. The players have been exceptional in, in, in sticking to their, their protocols and our protocols. So, that's all we, we currently can do. Um, and at the moment, we are doing pretty well on that. Thank you. Okay. Good, thanks, Patrick. Um, listen, I was just wondering, um, have you guys, there's been no kind of new call-ups in the squad, but have you guys
guys had anybody else like the likes of Harry Byrne in again training with you this week? Um, no, obviously they were playing for Leinster, so we sent a few players back to go and um, players that haven't played for a while to go back and play for their clubs. Um, and again, I thought thought Harry did pretty well on on the on the weekend in those tough conditions and the pitch and everything. So, um, but no, Harry Harry came in for a day. I think it was last week, uh, two weeks ago, whenever it was, two weeks ago. I can't remember the days now. Um, so we've had him in, in, in and out and stuff, but you know, guys like Harry and, and Ryan Beard and those guys, you know, they need to, they need to play and, um, the more they can play, the opportunities they get to play, the more they can show, show what they're about. And, and everybody has got a chance to train this morning and there's been no kind of adverse reactions to anybody after training today, has there? No, uh, uh, what I've been told is everybody's fully fit to and raring to go, so um, which is great. It's always good to start a week with a with a full squad. And then just the last one for me is just um, you know in terms of you know yourself, like you know you kind of have to kind of wear it every now and then. As you said, if you guys aren't scoring tries, and um, is it strange in a bit to kind of see your own name in headlines and in, in you know in stories and to, to all of a sudden kind of you, you're showing up in stories now? Is that strange for you? Is that just part of the job you have to kind of live with? <laughs> I'm not sure I'd answer that one. Put it this way: I haven't seen one headline, I haven't seen read one article. So, um, I, you know, I'm doing my job, and and I thoroughly enjoy my job, and and that's how I've got to do the job. I can't get influenced by any other thing. Um, so, you know, my job is working with the team and making sure that we perform. And and unfortunately, we haven't done that to the standard that everybody else expects us to. So. Um, and we expect to. So um, from that point, I'll continue doing, doing that role and, and don't worry about the stories outside of everything. Cheers, Mike. Thank you. Hi, Mike. It's Ruth Gorman here. Hi, Ruth. Hope you're well. Hi. Um, I just wondered, off the back of that question, how much pressure you feel? Because I know Andy Farrell talked last week about the pressure he's feeling at the moment. Um, and you you know, albeit you're not reading headlines, but how pressure are you feeling at the moment? Um, it depends what you classify as pressure. If, if you believe that you're going in the right direction and you believe that players, you know, and things take time to, to get ready, and I know we don't have a lot of time at international level and the expectation is, is, is no higher than from Andy and the rest of the coaches in terms of how we want to play the game. Um, winning at this level is ultimately the, the be-all and end-all. Um, so, you know, from a pressure point of view is I see it as us continue what we need to do to make the players better, to make them to understand um, how we want the game to be played. Um, and ultimately, we will see the rewards on the back of it.